Somebody call me John Wick because I'm thinking I'm back. So now let's take a little bit of time and talk about the hot button topic that was going on this weekend and how I honestly think a majority of people have this wrong. Let's talk about Ninja, Mixer, and if you should follow him right after this. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I said I was gonna be starting to make videos again and this might not be daily jolt, this might not be even weekly jolt, but it's gonna be something. Let's talk about the Ninja Twitch Mixer love triangle breakup. Twitch is no longer my best friend, now Mixer is my best friend that happened over the weekend. So if somehow you haven't heard about this, which holy crap, I'm the first channel you come to, I'm impressed and also thank you so, so much. But Ninja announced that he is leaving Twitch for Mixer and immediately people memed the hell out of this, but people have also been talking about a couple other aspects, including Mixer's terms of service and some things a lot of people putting polls on their Twitter accounts of, should I switch to Mixer? seen almost verbatim the same tweets from a dozen people. And the answer is not as easy as they're trying to make it out to be, especially not something that you just want to randomly decide with a poll on your Twitter account if you really care about your channel. So let's talk about if you should make the switch. Short answer is it depends on what Twitch is giving you. It depends on what Twitch provides for you. And for a lot of people, 99% of the people who are watching this video, that answer is basically nothing. They provide you a platform to stream to, you have a URL that leads to your profile on Twitch, but in reality, Twitch doesn't help you at all with your growth. That's entirely your responsibility. And you should, you definitely should, be networking people off of your Twitch account to a Discord server or your Twitter account, just multiple points of contact that you control. And if you have all of that infrastructure built up and you have a community who is dedicated to following you wherever you go, then go to Mixer. If you have a ton of subs, if you are pushing for partnership on Twitch, if you have a bunch of people who only interact with you on Twitch, only ever interact, no matter your best intentions or what you can best do, then you might want to stay on Twitch. Basically, if you have nothing to lose, you have nothing to lose. So you should definitely check it out. But that being said, it, Mixer isn't without its problems. It's still a newer platform. It doesn't have some of the same revenue streams that were there before. And because it's a smaller community, it's smaller people overall, you will get lower numbers. But really those numbers shouldn't matter if you're just starting with streaming or just building your community. It does not matter how many, how many people you get watching your stream. It matters the quality of the community that you're building. But that's a video for another day. So real quick, if you have nothing to lose, you have nothing to lose. Yes, go switch to Mixer. If you have something on Twitch, whether that be your community, the amount of people who are sub to you, some other partnership or reason to maintain your presence on Twitch, stay on Twitch. Don't throw it away for nothing, at least not right now. Getting in on the ground floor of Mixer post Ninja isn't really just gonna skyrocket you immediately. People who switched to Mixer for him and got that free two month sub from Mixer for him are there for him. And that cross compatibility and cross play and bleed over into other streams, it's possible, but unlikely. It's not like just because you're on Mixer, you're magically going to succeed. You still need a good plan and that's true for Twitch as well. Yeah. It's, it's, I said, this wasn't going to be easy. And then the other thing that counterpoints to that is people are saying Mixer can never beat Twitch. Mixer can never become the number one streaming platform. It can never take the crown from our almighty purple gods. And it doesn't have to. Mixer does not have to become number one. Much like how Ninja didn't stop being relevant when he dropped from number one to number two when Tifu passed him in the amount of subscribers and concurrent viewers on Twitch. Number two, the second biggest shark on the planet, still eats like a fucking king. There is nothing saying that second place or third or fourth or fifth is not viable. Viability of the platform has nothing to do with whether or not it can kill Twitch. It doesn't 
have to. It can easily coexist with it. And if anything else, everybody begging for Mixer to kill Twitch is being incredibly, incredibly short-sighted because you don't need one really good platform. You don't even need two really good platforms. You need a couple, like three or four, really good websites to support the kind of content you wanna create if you want those websites to be creator focused. The reason why YouTube can get away with being so shitty to the creators on their platform is because they can literally stand there and go, where the hell are you gonna go? Are you gonna upload your stuff to Vidme? Oh, 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 wait, that closed. Are you gonna upload your stuff to Vimeo? Yeah, good luck with that. You can't even monetize your videos on Vimeo. Or are you gonna be one of those 10 people who uploads your videos to Pornhub just for the lols? It works for a while, but you're not exactly gonna capture the gamer audience there. They're on that site for something else. So it's not about killing Twitch. It's about building a viable competitor for it. And if you want to be a part of that viable competition, then definitely switch to Mixer. But you are giving up things. You are working with it. And it's definitely a give and take. You need to find a platform that is conducive not only for the type of content you're creating, but for the type of community you want to build. And the overwhelming sort of general consensus I've seen is that Mixer streams are far more positive, far more general community building. And I kind of have to uphold that from what I've seen, but at the same time, it's gonna vary wildly from streamer to streamer. The personality cultivating people watching is the one who's pretty much gonna dictate the tone. So if you think you can make it better on Mixer than you are on Twitch, then go for it. And then one last thing to talk about, let's talk about Mixer's content policy as far as clothing and appearance. I've seen a lot of people tweeting out this one retweet and image about how Mixer is against female streamers because, because of the definitions of what is appropriate clothing for the different rating levels on Twitch. I find this really a, a weirdly bad hot take. Like I understand want to take, take a hot take and dig at Mixer when it's in the news and everyone's talking about it. But this really just seems like pretty straightforward and clear guidelines. And at a time where Twitch is heavily under fire for not being consistent with the enforcement of their policies and also the fact that their policies are extremely vague and impossible to fully define and consistently define, and it varies from one moderator to another or one admin to another, what punishment or lack of punishment you will get, having a hot take that you're making fun of Mixer for explicitly saying this is okay at this level, this is okay at this level, this is okay at this level, and this is okay at this level, and these things aren't, seems ridiculously short-sighted and ignorant and really just there to be clout chasing and looking for retweets. So in reality, Mixer might be a viable platform for you if you don't already have the investment and the buy-in from your community on Twitch and they won't follow you. That is the most important thing. If you have something that you're gonna be throwing away, don't do that. If you have something to lose by leaving Twitch, it might not be the right time to make that change. Now, that's not a blanket statement. Sometimes taking that risk, making that jump is going to be a great idea and it's going to pay off immensely. And sometimes it won't. Every situation is different. This is just my thoughts and advice on the whole thing and my inputs in the grand mixer Twitch and Ninja conversation. I don't think he's going to carry that platform on his own. It's going to see who else is there, who builds up more, what kind of growth comes from this. But mixer did jump to the number one downloaded app on the App Store over the weekend. And that says a lot for the name recognition of one streamer. And if they can capitalize on him and build a community around him, it could work. They don't need to take number one, they just need to be viable. And Mixer is looking pretty damn viable right now. So if you wanna get in on it, go get in on it. And then come back to this video in six months and let me know if it worked out for you and we'll, do another check-in on the whole streaming ecosystem and platform in a couple months just to see where things went. Hopefully, hopefully, something like this means that streamers get to escape some of the problems that YouTubers have had to deal with for the past five years or so. Hopefully. We'll see. But 
that's just my thoughts on this whole thing. I would love to hear what you think, whether it be Ninja switching, whether or not he was disloyal to Twitch, which is another set of hot takes I've seen, the Mixer content policy and guidelines, and whether or not you're considering switching to Mixer or you're staying on Twitch, and if so, why for either of those? Why did you make the switch or why did you decide to stay? I would love to hear your thoughts in those comments down below. But until next time, my name is Legundo. Thank you so much for watching. Be good to each other. And I hope you like this video. This is kind of what things are going to be right now for a little bit while I still figure things out. Until next time, guys. Bye-bye.